Hey everyone, welcome to day 13 of 100 Days of Making Comics. This is going to be a very quick one. Um, I have been working on pages for the Mysterious Exorcist. Here are the pixel breakdowns. I don't know if you can see them. This one is a bit more penciled in, and here is the inked page from this page. Um, what I've been doing lately is that I do like a very loose, almost thumbnail approach to the layout. Then I kind of pencil it in a little bit more like rough pencils, and then I light box over them so it can have a cleaner crisper look when I ink it. Um, I'm doing the inking traditionally for now until I settle myself into getting the new programs installed on my laptop and on my main PC as well. The light box I've been using is this actually. We saw it on sale one day and it cost like around $20 I think. And it's actually very comfortable because it doubles as a lap desk, so when I'm not feeling too well, I've been using it as well as to draw from the bed or from wherever I can. It's actually very comfy. The light actually works surprisingly well. It's a little bit dirty right now because of all the work I've been doing, but a little bit of wiping and it'll be good as new. and. It'll look just like my artwork has been looking 10% more fabulous. So yeah, you know, whatever it takes to get the work done, that's pretty much been my motto to an extent. And this is actually an awesome, surprisingly very, very good quality light box. Like, I'm in love with this thing and it came with magic markers to guess have a little bit of fun with it. It also came with like a sketch pad and a folder. Those are actually quite useful to hold artwork and such. So for $20, it was a pretty good bargain to have this light box, folders, magic markers. You can always find a use for that to pass the time and such. So yeah, that was a pretty good bargain. If you ever run into this kind of sale if you see in a store or something like and if you have like the cash and you don't have the means to buy like a higher grade light box or something like don't let pride or other people put you down or whatever or think of what other people might think if they saw you with this you know like just you know to hell with it you have your dream you have your goals you know you just go for it it doesn't matter in the end, it's the end product that talks for you, not the utensils you use. You know, it's not the utensil, it's the artist that uses it. So that will be like my brief, um, uplifting moment of the video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the long weekend this weekend. Of course, Martin Luther King's birthday this coming Monday. So I hope you all have a wonderful time. Have a little bit of time to... Have a little bit of introspection, I guess, you know, make, you know, your little, put in your little grain of sand to try and just make yourself a better person, a better person in your community, in your life, overall, and hopefully things will just get better for everyone as a person, as a society, in the whole world, so, yes, peace and love, people, see you next time. Thank you.